Hi everybody, this is Matt McDermott from MoreThanSEO.com and this is January 2012. This video is a part two based on feedback from customers and others who've reached me via the YouTube channel who wanted more ideas on what to do with their print advertising. They want to continue with print advertising in 2012, but they want to know how to take it to the next level. So the first video gave six ideas. This is three additional actions you can potentially take for your print ads starting in 2012. The previous six ideas are in the YouTube channel, uh, either on the blog of morethanseo.com or on youtube.com slash user slash morethanseo, and the video is on the channel. The three ideas that you can add in addition to the six are, number one, you can add a QR code which is relevant to the reader at the time he or she is seeing your ad. Number two, for price incentive ads or coupon based ads, you can distribute a press release with the ad inside it or a component of the ad inside it. And number three, you can link to online review sites so that seeing those seeing your advertisement for the first time can check out independent reviews right then and there. So the first idea is a QR code. If you're not familiar with these, this is an example of a QR code. And if you were to scan this on your mobile phone with the free QR code reader, this would take you to the YouTube channel for more than SEO.com. Basically, a QR code seems to be a bit of confusion for a lot of people. Just like on the internet, when you click a link and it takes you to any particular page on the internet, the same thing with a QR code. It does not, repeat, not have to take you to the company website. As a matter of fact, sometimes that's the worst place to take people because the websites are not optimized for mobile phones, it's too confusing, you have to click multiple things to get the person what you want them to do in the first place. So in many cases, sending them to something other than the home page of a website is often the best strategy. So get in the mind of the customer or the prospective customer that you have and you want to take that person within one click to the page on the internet that will best serve them at the time they're seeing your, your ad. So, for example, you can take them to something like a YouTube video or a YouTube channel. So what else to do with the QR code? So if you're able to get it and follow the basic metrics and the layout on your ad, you can place it on the ad with a call to action. So here are some examples. Number one, if you're a restaurant, uh, or a local restaurant anywhere in the country, you can put something there such as scan the QR code and watch our YouTube video on how we make our food. Of course, conversely, you can link to the coupons, especially if you have something in a unique way of delivering the coupons. Number two, you can scan the QR code to download a 25% off coupon, which you can use anytime between now and a certain date. A typical thing you're going to see normally in a normal coupon ad with an expiration date, but you can put that and actually have them scan the code and they can take the coupon with them anytime on their phone so they don't have to physically cut out a coupon out of your print ad. And number three, you could do something such as a scan the QR code to get access to free articles and PDF files to help you make an informed decision. And this is for higher dollar transaction businesses that rely on print advertising. So you can play with the ideas, but you get the uh, understanding that a QR code can take someone with a mobile phone that they could scan it right there on the spot, and you can give them something of value on their phones as they trust their phones, and they can take those with them anywhere. And they'll have your message either saved on their phone and they even can forward the information to their friends or followers, say on Twitter or their email list, and therefore spread the word on your behalf, provided what you give that person is good information or helpful, relevant content. Second thing you can do when it comes to your print ads is actually in the realm of press releases. So, for example, if you have a time based incentive such as a 25% off coupon between now and Valentine's Day, then your promotion may warrant a press release. There are free press release distribution sites and paid. And if at all possible, attempt to tie your promotion to a current event, something that's deemed newsworthy, either in the current environment or just kind of consistent newsworthiness, um, a holiday, an anniversary, or something unique. So, for example, we, I love using examples of a pizza restaurant in any given locale, and you have the buy one, get one free pizza promotion, 50% uh, off pizza on national pizza without the works, with the works except anchovies day, which is an official holiday on November 12th. So you get the idea. You can tie a promotion around it and make it fun and unique. Press release strategy has three different 
things you can do. One, you can attempt to get real-world, otherwise known as offline, publicity, such as newspaper, radio, TV, magazine, journal, all sorts of other real-world marketing and awareness. That's the one that most people understand, uh, but sometimes it doesn't necessarily work in your favor. So you have two backup strategies when you use press releases. Number two is you can attempt to get mentioned on industry or geographic specific blogs, websites, forums, etc. And then people who trust those sites will become aware of either the company for the first time or conversely at least aware of the particular promotion that you're running or other reason why you're doing the print advertising in the first place. And the third one is to actually use the press releases to generate links to boost your rankings in the search engines for specific keywords. So if you're familiar with an SEO strategy, search engine optimization, you can actually use press releases with your ads to boost the rankings of your website in general. So the reason why your ad and press releases can merge together, many online press release syndication and distribution services will actually allow images. So this is something more than just your logo. They actually, in certain cases, on the free sites and a lot of the paid sites, will permit one or more images to be included in the press release where either your entire ad, if it's constructed properly, or at least a portion of your ad can be embedded as a separate image, a JPEG, a, G a GIF image, whatever they, they allow you to upload, can actually be included in, as part of the press release and then syndicated accordingly. So if at all possible, try to make the image stand out in both the print ad as well as the press release. So for example, on the pizza coupon we talked about on the National Pizza with the Works Except Anchovies Day, if you can, try to make your coupon stand out. Make your coupon look like a pizza, a pizza box, a pepperoni, something. Try to make it stand out so it's tied in with something newsworthy, it's unique, it stands out from a content standpoint, but also even from an image standpoint, if you can do so. Finally, you want to give your readers social proof that you are worthy of their business. And the reason why you want to consider this now, especially in 2012 versus previous years, is that younger and more tech-savvy audiences want confirmation, otherwise known as social proof, that you're legitimate and you will treat them well. Because many of the people, especially the younger audience, have grown up in an era of distrust and feel that they've been betrayed. Now, whether this feeling of betrayal is accurate or inaccurate, it doesn't matter. A lot of them feel that they've been betrayed by their politicians, their parents, school administrators, athletes, heroes, religious leaders. A lot of them feel this betrayal. So you have to acknowledge that this underlying sentiment is going on. And print ads, since they are by their nature a one-way mechanism, print ads over time are becoming le deemed less and less trustworthy, otherwise known in the industry as ad blindness. That's one of the reasons why newspaper ads not only due to shrinking ad newspaper ad numbers, but the people who are reading newspapers tend to actually skip the ads more and more as the, before as they did in say in previous years. That number is shrinking of those who will actually pay attention to the ads in something like a newspaper. So you have to make it stand out. And you want to counter that ad blindness or the betrayal and the distrust sentiment by proving that you're a worthy of their business. So here's what to do. You want to have reviews and testimonials on multiple web properties, not just your own. So you want those that have some sort of independence to them. For example, Google Places, Yelp, Yahoo, Local, etc. And then you want to encourage your current customers and clients to leave reviews. And also you want to address any negative reviews uh, that are in compliance with the website's terms of service. And that's always on a case-by-case -case basis. And that falls into the area of online marketing known as reputation management. But what you want to do ultimately is to put a page on your website if you can, or if not, on a third-party website, but ideally your own website. Create a page which then links out to all of those review places. So you then could, on your print ad, either tell people specifically to go to a link or give them another QR code, because you are allowed to have multiple QR codes. And say one goes to something, as we talked about earlier, to say a YouTube video to watch how food is made at the pizza place. And another code could actually link to the testimonials and reviews page on your website, which also then links out to Yelp, Google Places, Yahoo Local, etc. So that way, testimonials that show up on your website are great, but because people trust them less and less, they, you then also have taken the additional step to then link out on their phones right there at the time that they're looking at your print ad, and you can look at they can look at your Yelp. Google Places, etc., and they get extra confirmation or known as social proof that you are deemed a trustworthy business. 
In addition, you can link out to things such as Better Business Bureau, Chamber of Commerce listings, or anything else that's also deemed trustworthy. But you want to make sure that you look as transparent and as trustworthy as possible from the time someone's sitting there flipping through hundreds of ads, say in a magazine or a newspaper or anything like that, with a smartphone, can scan it and right there on the spot, determine quickly if you are a trustworthy business. So if you need any help with these suggestions or anything from the previous print ad video, you're welcome to contact me through the contact form at morethanseo.com. Thank you.